The next day, Gordon spent his time at the mainland to test his speed. And Philip and the Flying Scotsman were also there to see how fast Gordon can really go. I may not be able to go as fast of a speed that I once used to go, but I will still prove myself that I am one of the fastest engines. Gordon started making his lap around the track. And as he was going around, he started to pick up speed, going at double the amount that he once went just a day ago. Already your speed is improving, Gordon, but you must not stop there now. You're right, Scott. I need to do better than just 45 to 60 miles per hour. Gordon did another lap around the track, and this time he did much better than the speed he went on the first one. That was a lot better than last time! But I can do much better than the speed I just went! Go on and do what you have to do, brother. I will be watching, and so will Philip here. So Gordon did just that, and picking up the highest speed as he can, even if it's not as fast as he used to go. Only this time, he went two laps. This is as fast I can go. It may not be as fast as I once was long ago, but it still should be enough to show that I truly am one of the fastest engines. That may be as fast as you can get, Gordon, but I think you should really get to your actual top speed. And to do that, I need you to do this one thing. You're going to race me, Gordon, as Flying Scotsman requested me to. What? Race Spencer? Scott, you do realize that he is clearly faster than me. I know. Which is why I'm gonna have Spencer start right behind you and give you a two-second head start. Soon, Spencer and Gordon were both in position. You can start whenever you are ready, Gordon. And Spencer will start two seconds after. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this! And Gordon was off, and then Spencer two seconds after. Both engines were at first racing at the same speeds. Then, Spencer started to catch up to Gordon. Must get to my top speed! I can do this! But Gordon wasn't going at his original top speed, he was going over his top speed. Wait a minute. That's not Gordon's original top speed. How is it possible that he's much faster now? Whoa! Is that really his top speed even if he's not streamlined? No, it's not. Gordon sped along the tracks with Spencer falling behind. And soon Gordon reached the end of his third lap. Ha ha! I did it! That was a good race, wasn't it? Wait, Spencer, have you been slowing down for the rest of the race? No, I wasn't. I've been going at my top speed this entire time. I think I know what's exactly happened. Gordon, you have managed to retain your new top speed, even if you have given up streamlining. All this time? And that means... You truly are the fastest engine! 
Come, my brother. It is time. Who do we want? Gordon! And when do we want him? Now! Who you have got to be kidding us right now. Now! As if Gordon, Gordon pulling smaller trains was not enough to now! worry about. Who now we have all these Gordon! protesters. And when do we want him? Now! I understand you're all upset, but protesting is not the- Whoa! My windshield! That protester broke my windshield! Hey! That was uncalled for! And that was our controller you almost hit! Yeah! What's wrong with all of you? Now! Who do we want? And when do we want him? Now! That's it! Everyone get out of railway property now! Before I call the cops on all of you! We've got to get Pip's windshield repaired right now! So Pip and Emma were uncoupled from their passenger train so that Emma could take Pip to get her windshield repaired. Okay! With all those protesters dealt with, we can now get back to running this railway. Sir, don't you think you've been spending way too much money? Especially on those repairs for that storage room at that castle, that one building at the diesel works, and on Gordon's repairs? And let's not forget about all those new engines you've got and the new coaches that came with Pip and Emma. That had become the case, and a lot of passengers wanted their money back. But that still should not stop me from running this railway, could it? Now, if I can just... Uh, huh? <coughs> We're out of money! What? No money? Seriously? For real? Do any of you know what this means? That Pip can't get a new windshield? No worse than that! Your wife is gonna kill you when she finds out you don't have any money left? No even worse than that! You can't be able to run this railway anymore? No even worse than that! You're gonna... okay... I give up. By the looks of everyone else's faces, yeah, we all give up. What does no money mean, sir? No money means no more Thomas the Wor- Oh, wait a minute. No more Thomas the Wooden Model. What are we going to do? Well, time to go home. No, we're not going home! I second that. We have to save Thomas the Wooden Model. But how are we going to get enough money to pay for it? I think I got just the thing. After all, aren't all five of us in the literature club? Tickets! Get your tickets! for our poem performances. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Monica and I'm the president of the Literature Club. We thank you all for coming here to hear us read our poems to you and we hope that you will all enjoy them. So there we were, the Literature Club, reading our poems for the crowds to hear. And we actually had to do multiple showings if we were to have enough money to bring Thomas the Wooden Model back. But in the end, it was all worth it. Okay, everyone. We have made just enough money to get Thomas the Wooden Model back. Let's hope it's enough to keep it going until Gordon gets back. And lucky for them, they don't have to wait for too long.